Hello everyone. Welcome to this video tutorial on how to get started with the WPF chart of Syncfusion. In this video, you'll see how to add a chart control to the WPF project and how to bind data collection to it. You will also learn how to customize the chart's appearance and configure elements like axis, legend, series, data label, palette, and tooltip. So let's get started. In this video, I'll be using Visual Studio 2017 and here I have created a WPF project. First, I'll show how to create a sample data collection that are to be plotted on the chart and then I'll start with the SF chart configuration. In this project, now I'll create a model class and I'll name it as sales. In the sales class, I'll add three properties, year, product A, and product B with get and set accessors. And I'll change the class access modifier to public. Next, I'll create another class and I'll name it as view model. In this class, I'll create a generic list property of type sales and I'll name it as data with get and set accessors. Next, I'll create a constructor. In the constructor, I'll create an instance of data and add sample data that will be added in the collection. The next step is to add chart assembly from the NuGet manager. In the solution explorer, I'll right click the references and from this option, I'll select manage NuGet packages and browse for sfchart.wpf. Now I'll click the install button and you can view the preview changes dialog box that displays the dependent assemblies of this package. I'll click OK to include this assembly. In XAML, first I'll add the class reference by including the chart namespace. The SF chart will be available in syncfusion.ui.xaml.charts namespace. Now I'll use the alias name of the chart namespace and create an instance of SF chart. You can view the default X and Y axes in the designer area. Next, I'll customize the chart axes to plot data against them. You can define the X and Y axes of the chart using primary and secondary axis properties. SF chart supports plotting different types of values using axis types like numerical, daytime and category. In this example, the x-axis will show the year property as string, so I'll use the category axis. And the y-axis will display the amount values as double, so I'll use the numerical axis. Now let's see how to bind the data collection to SF chart. First, I'll set the Windows Data Context property to View Model. Next, I'll bind the data property in view model to the item source property of series. Using series, you can visualize data in the chart form. And SF chart offers many types of series ranging from basic charts to financial charts. In this example, I am going to add two column series to compare the sales of product A and product B. Now, I'll add the first column series and bind the item source property. 
with the data property of view model. The X binding path and Y binding path properties are used to map the X and Y axis values. For this series, I'll assign the X binding path to year and Y binding path to product A. Let me add one more column series like the previous column series bind the item source property to the data property and set x binding path to year and y binding path to product B. You can view the data plotted against the X and Y axis in the designer area. To change this example more meaningful, I need to configure elements like title, legend, and data label. First, I'll assign a title to the chart using the header property. Here, I'm assigning header to sales record. Notice the title added to the chart in the designer area. Next, I'll show how to enable legend in SF chart. To enable legend, use legend property of SF chart. And create an instance of chart legend. You'll see the legend icons below the title, but they do not contain labels indicating what the series represents. I can configure the labels to those legends using the label property in the column series. I'm going to name the first series as product A and second series as product B. Now you can view the legend changes in the designer area. Next, I'll show how to enable data labels to visualize the values of each segment in the chart. To enable this feature, I'll use the adornment property of column series. and create a chart adornment info instance. By default, labels will not be displayed. Therefore, you have to set the show labels property to true. I'll copy this and paste it in this series too. Now you can see the data values for each segment of the chart in the designer area. I can also change the default color applied to the series using the palette property. So let's assign palette values to change the chart's appearance. For the first series, I'll assign the palette to Elite. For the second, I'll assign the palette to Sandy Beach. Now you can see the color changes on both the series. Next, we'll see one of the interactive features of SF chart the tooltip. You can enable the tooltip to display data values plotted in the chart by adding the show tooltip property in the column series and assigning it to true. Now I'll format the axis label of the y-axis to show the dollar sign to represent the numbers in millions. So I'll use the label format property of numerical axis. To customize the label with dollar sign, a three digit numerical value and an uppercase M. Now I'll run the application to visualize the chart. You can view a beautifully configured chart with title, data label, tooltip and legend. So we have seen how to add a chart control in WPF project, how to populate data collection, 
how to customize the chart's appearance, and how to configure chart elements like series, axes, legends, data label, palette, and tooltip. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.